What is up boys and girls, in this video I'm going to show you or teach you a very good use case on how to use and when to use Golang's IO Multi Writer. It's a very simple but powerful tool that you can use um, in your day-to-day -day programming because I'm using it myself very often, especially uh, for the people that know, I have a Patreon page where I'm building a complete decentralized and distributed file storage. And there I'm using IO Multi Writer as well. Before we continue, if you like the videos and the content I'm providing to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave some questions in the comment, jump into uh, my Discord community. Let's go. So basically, <clears throat> uh, like usual, we're gonna make a very uh, realistic use case. So um, we're gonna start with a server. Um, yes, and it's very cold, so I could be rusty in my typing. So we're gonna say server strict. And we're gonna have some, some peers in our server. And that's gonna be a map of, um, normally you would do a map of netcom to a bool or something. We could also use a slice, uh, but for the sake of uh, demonstration and usability, I'm using <clears throat> a map netcom. You could also have some kind of a version attached to it uh, to see the version of your of your peers and all that stuff in a blockchain environment or something. But for this case, we're gonna just use a bool to fill it up. Uh, the problem is netcom is an interface and I don't want to uh, spend time to implement that stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to create our own connection type. So we're going to say uh, a map <coughs> of pointers to a connection. So let's make uh, a con real quick. We're going to say it's going to be a strict. And um, <coughs> of course a connection. Why do we need that? Because uh, let's say we want to broadcast, right? So we have some kind of a message in our application and we want to broadcast that message to all of our connected peers, all of the connections that are basically connected to our server. <clears throat> so what does a connection needs to have? Well, I'm going to say IO writer, right? So not only I'm going to teach you how uh, you could use an IO multi writer, but you can already see, I'm going to teach you also a little bit of stuff, how to use these interfaces and embed them in structs and all that stuff. So we need an IO writer because we need to write to a connection, right? So <clears throat> let's make, um, Let's make a new server real quick actually, like this, new server. It's gonna return a pointer to a server like that. And then we're gonna quickly say something. Let, let's let's mock up some, some connections. Uh, so we're gonna say S is gonna be this server type. We're gonna say that the peers uh, is gonna be a map, make me a map of uh, pointers to connection with bool like that, and then we're gonna say uh, four. Let's say we make 10 connections. We're gonna say S, peers. And of course, guys, before you start pitchforking, you should protect your uh, peers with a mutex. Very important if you wanna add a connection or you wanna uh, grab a connection, you wanna read from a connection, from the peers map, I mean. Use a mutex or some other synchronization uh, tool to make sure you don't have any race conditions, right? Very important because Reddit, they're gonna pitchfork. So S peers Y is gonna be um, let's let's make a constructor real quick here. We're gonna say func new connection, which is gonna return a pointer to that connection real quick. We're gonna say return me uh, a con, and of course because uh, this needs to implement the IO writer, the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say that the writer is gonna be a new bytes buffer because a bytes buffer is a reader and a writer so it's all good so that's fixed and then we're going to say here is going to be a new con um wait it's going to be that's not true we're going to say new con here and that's going to be the bool true right and then we're going to return the server uh return s right so in this case we basically have uh, a new server with 10 populated connections, right? Okay, so uh, let's say our server, we wanna have a broadcast function, right? So we're gonna say server, we're gonna say broadcast, and broadcast me a message, which is gonna be a slice of bytes, and what we could do here is return an error, right? So what I see in, the, in, the, in, in programming, if I do reviews or something, a lot of people would do something like that, right? So for broadcasting, we say for, Peer in range as peers, and you should use a mutex here, right? 
uh, we're gonna say if the error actually it should be if um, underscore error because the underscore is gonna be n which is the number of bytes that are being written so we're gonna say underscore error beat write msg if the error is not nil uh, what you could do here uh, is just let's log fatal out the error just like that <coughs> log fatal and um, in this case we're gonna have no errors so we're gonna return nil so we're gonna range through all the connected peers and we're gonna write that uh, message we want to broadcast for a chat or something else or a distributed file or distributed key values or I don't know something um, be creative something like that right and let's say we do something like s is going to be uh, a new server just like that and then we're going to say s uh, broadcast and broadcast me uh, foo for example right so we're going to broadcast foo Go and may not go, and we do this, and we don't see anything because we don't know what's going on. So what we're gonna do is a very nice trick you could do is we're gonna say here we're gonna basically extend the write functionality of the underlying writer that's embedded in the connection. So we could do something like um, this. So we could say write, and that is basically a b slice of bytes, and we're gonna return an integer. And an error because that's the function signature of a writer, right? And uh, we could we could check this right here. We could say if a writer here. You could see writer write me p bytes and error, right? So let's go back to main and actually let's make it. Uh, they use p as a byte, so we're gonna use the same thing. What we could do is basically return c writer the underlying writer, and we're gonna basically write. Uh, P, right? So that should basically work. But I want to show what we are actually writing. So what we're going to do, we're going to extend it a little bit and we're going to say FMT uh, print LN write in to underlying connection. Like this. And then we're going to say uh, write me, print me the string of P. Right? Cool. So if we run this again, go run main.go we're gonna see that we are writing to the underlying connection. So each connection right now is receiving, is writing foo to the connection. So on the other side, right? The other side of the connection, they will receive the byte foo. So what uh, can we do better here? Well, something, a nice cool trick is instead of basically looping through all the peers and writing them separately, what you could do is something like, uh, you could say that the peers is gonna be a slice of IO writer, right? Just like that. And then you could say, instead of um, writing it here, we could do peers append peers peers, right? So you're gonna append this, and you can, I, I, I already know what you're gonna think. You could basically pre-allocate uh, this thing, right? You could actually pre-allocate because we know the exact amount of peers we need, right? We could do make me a slice of IO writer with the length of the peer map we have. That's true. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to use a simple append here, right? There are a lot of things to optimize, but this is not the case. This is just a demonstration on how you could uh, extend writers and, and use a multi-writer and all that stuff, right? So... We have peers here, we're gonna append everything, uh, we're gonna append all our connections, right? Because the peers here is basically just a, a strict, right? A pointer to a connection, but the connection is implementing the writer interface, which we actually already extended, so we can actually print out what we are writing ourselves. Uh, it's basically perfectly fine that it's gonna be a writer because it's implemented write function, right? So, but instead of basically looping through each peer and writing it separately, we could do something like the writer, we could say MW, multi-writer, is going to be an IO, multi-writer, and we're going to do the peers, and we need to spread them out. And then we could just say that the underscore R, right, the amount of bytes written, which we're going to omit, and the error is going to be MW, write me all the messages, write me the messages, I mean, and then we're going to return the error if it is one, right? So you can see that um, we right now have a multi-writer with all the peers inside of it. And we just call write one time. 
with this uh, with the message we give it. And if we run it again, we can see it's just the same functionality. Of course, you could say, but we are looping here already. So why, do, why don't we just write um, each peer separately? That's true. In our case, this is going to be, <clears throat> these peers are basically uh, a map of connections mapped to boo. But it could be that this is going to be a slice uh, of connections, for example, right? Actually, why not? We could do something like this. Peers is going to be a slice of, um, yeah, you, you get the point, right? So because otherwise we need to do all that stuff and I want to make this video very short. So you could have a slice of connections and that's basically just going to be the same thing. Um, it's going to be the, the exact same thing and then uh, you don't need to loop and map them to a slice because you already have a slice and then you basically uh, can remove all this functionality and just call multi-writer on your peers that are basically sitting in the server, right? If that makes sense. Right, this is a very short video, but I think it's a very powerful video because uh, I hope you're gonna get some stuff out of here, get some value out of uh, the things I'm showing to you. You could do it with a writer, you could also do it with a reader, a multi-reader and all that stuff. So you can actually compose all your internal behavior into uh, different things that will uh, make your program more readable, more maintainable and uh, extendable. But if you like this video, if you like the content I'm providing to you, consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, jump into the Discord community. And for the people that really want to level up as an engineer, check out my Patreon page. I have a distributed file storage system, uh, 17 episodes. I have uh, the blockchain uh, new series coming up and I'm also uh, making uh, planning for a complete microservice stack in Golang with GoKit, where we're gonna use uh, multiple services, gateways, rate limiting, all that shebang instrumentation with Prometheus. So go and check that out. And thanks for watching this video. And I'm looking forward in my in one of my live streams or future videos. Peace.